Hello and welcome back to Meow Time. Straight. Do I need to talk to him? Bring us to the sky. Um so I'm going a different way now. Last time I struggled a bit and tried to find my way, like what I was supposed to be doing. So I apologize if that video wasn't, was kind of, oh, rooftops. Kind of all over the place. Ooh, smiley face. His tongue sticking out, I guess. Oh, it's the Zerks. They're all over the place. How do you run? Oh, okay. Get out of here! Can I knock this paint on them? Well, they're not even. Paint all over you, hey. Nope, didn't work. Um, this world in which I live in is very. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this world is very. I wanted to say last time, very interesting and uh, nuanced. That, uh, oh, get out of here. Nope, nope. It um, doesn't really need a lot of uh, dialogue or NPCs or anything like that in it. I think it's very good on its own. And it sort of reminds me a little bit of Little Nightmares. Oh, memory. Memories, sweet memories. What button is X? Okay. See, it's full of neon, it always wasn't always this way. Some strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps and that neon signs all over the house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing to Impressors could do. I was waiting for people to see colors again, not like the outside. I think it helped. It had to. Th oh, I'm missing memories, I think. I, I didn't catch everything. Um, hopefully, I can go back and pick up stuff. There was a lot of stuff that. Where am I going? Oh. There was a lot of stuff that I think I missed. There was music sheets. Music sheets that I had to pick up. I, I got detergent for some reason. I assume that has a purpose. Ah, uh, barrel. Barrel! Look at how smart I am. Um, so. Okay. <laughs> and can't knock that off the side. That's good. I'm glad to be playing a game that has no combat in it. Not every game needs combat system. All it needs is a cute cat. I'm gonna be probably disappointed in every game that I have to play after. Whoa! Oops. After I finish this game. Zerks. Disgusting little things. Like head crabs. I see. So the door over there is open. I need to get to that barrel. So if I close this. Okay, they're stuck there. Oh, yeah. I got it. I get this all taken care of. 
I wonder what happened to all the humans in this. I don't think they've explained that yet, um, but I, the outside area is... We're, ch we're trying to get to the outside area, which is, I believe, where I came from. I wonder if there's any humans left alive out there. Are those... Okay, that's just disgusting stuff. I thought those were Zerks. I can't run! I meow excessively. This whole time. Easy. Yeah. Make it a point to knock everything over. So we're trying to get the transceiver. Yeah, I don't like this crap. The floating in the air and yellow gross things. Glowing things. Like mutated. Something only. So there's Zerks there, Zerks there. I think I gotta get over there. I sneak by them. I think I can just sneak through here. Oh, nope. Oh, crap. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Up there. Always important to stay as high as possible. So I need to get over there. Transceiver up. I believe. I believe I can do it. Okay, so there's a barrel. I get. I get on the other side, right? I should be able to get over. There somewhere. Uh -huh. Quick to the no commentary, I gotta concentrate here. where I'm going with this exactly. Oh, up there. Please stay away. Alright. Oh. It's uh moments with the Zerk are intense, man. Such a it's usually such oh crap. It's usually a very chill game, but every once in a while we got this that wasn't very hard. Wow, big jump. Just switch over there. Once I pull it, there's gonna be Zerks, isn't there? As this is just too easy. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, they're there. I had trouble avoiding them. Ugh. I, my, I get all nervous and my finger. Oh no! My finger sort of slips on the thumb pad. I just gotta go. Keep going. Uh, in circles. Oh, there. Yes. Yes. Get away, little head crab creature things that are very disgusting and I want nothing to do with. There's a, one thing nice about this game is there's like no downtime. There's no, uh, in other words, there's no like um, load screens. It's all just one continuous thing. And I, I appreciate that. Let's try and see if we're on the antenna. Please, item. thinking maybe um, as something sort of interesting to do and for me to read about is if you had so um, if you were interested in telling me some stories about your cats uh, and putting them in the comments look the view it's beautiful from there I remember now the city it was meant to be a shelter the fun little interactive sort of thing those look like stars, but they are only light marks on the hermetic roof ceiling of the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can get out. <clears throat> the outside was a disaster, completely barren, unavailable, and dangerous. Okay, so we're getting a little story here. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't to just go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. And now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Memory. I, my memories are very spotty. I, I need need more memories. Uh, last time I played, I I played some, and then quit and then played some trying to figure out what to do so I, I got some of the memories and then lost them because I didn't uh, save it unfortunately thumbs part two what's that? oh the ball did I play with this already? Maybe I did. It's hard to remember. Sometimes. Look, I know. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're live. Excellent. Took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code is off open. It is quite simple. It is. Ooh. I'm sure that I don't have to write that down. Be careful, it's case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo? Okay. The, that must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. There's no way they expect me to remember that. I locked for the window. The code was. Hmm, I think H, I think? Error. Oh, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. And there was an O, or was it. or zero? Let's see. Success! It worked! Momo is at the bar waiting for us. 
I was thinking I was going to end it at the, uh, oh, there's a little one, after the transmitter, but maybe let's go see more, huh? I remember how to get down. <laughs> there's so many places to go. I forgot the, I didn't get all the music, I don't think. That's something I want to do, but I'll probably do that, like, off-camera. Or off-recording, or whatever. Did I just squeak? Without pushing the button? Okay, the bar. Where's the bar? Not that way. There was a sign. Is that it? Orderman, Super Lone Drainer, and Elliot Pro. They don't really show you directions, do they? Where's the bar at? Oh, hey, there's Momo right there. Found you. After all this time. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like. Get up here. You can pick me up. Oh, 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 okay. Nice. Oh, he pets me. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Almost got it. It's a big BMO face. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zabaltar? Almost. I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zabaltar. Where are you? Where are, are there others okay? Yes, psh, we are safe. Psh, we found a way up. Psh. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh, very dangerous. Psh, zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. Can't believe that the Balthazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if the Balthazar made it, there must be a way. I don't know how to say that guy's name. I'll, I'll be glad when I don't have to say it anymore. Who's this? Seamus? You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make you a quick million out of you, especially you, little one. And you try to look in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Then shut up. The cat's looking at him. <laughs> Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. This is the Seamus. He was just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's the ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned the secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. Might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Yay, meow. Oh, it's saving it. Oh, should I go... Should I follow... Momo? First? Let's see where we're going. Real quickly, and then I'll and I'll stop. Um, I guess we're going a long way, sorry. <laughs> oh, the little backpack lights up. That's neat. Something I didn't notice before when you get next to someone that lights up. When it, when you can. That's, I'm looking to shoot music, play guitar, and yeah, if you find any, bring them back to me. I need... I live near the elevator. Where's... 
Okay, it didn't save it there, but I'm, I'm gonna stop there. Because that's where I want to stop, alright? Um, I want to play this, I really do, but I've got lots of things going on right now. I'll put these out when I can. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.